That sounds big. That sounds like a fucking bear. Don't fuck with me, bear. Don't start no shit and there won't be no shit. Please don't make me fight you, bear. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you, bear. I don't want to fight you! God damn it! Don't be a dick, bear! Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Oh, it's Hello, Dutch. Dutch. It is. I thought he wasn't going to be Abigail? here. Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No. Oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Is he that old? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. I didn't realize he knew my wife. It's over, man. Of course. <clears throat> of course. He gonna blow John. her head off. You're the master now. I don't understand why somebody ain't shot I've her. Been my master I mean, shot him. Left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. Mm -hmm. I never claimed Cause to be like strange, shotgun over here got an angle equally, on him. I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. And let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? Mm. You always were the romantic sort. Well. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Oh, man, talk about an Oedipus complex. We all had her. <laughs> but he married her. And you know that Same as how my mama was. Better man than us. He's a better man. But that explains... Have the girl. Why his Dutch. wife is so She's chill with Dutch. his She's past. Because I did wonder. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, we can catch him if we hurry. Shut up, shotgun. You should have done shot him. This is your fault, Marston. This ain't my fucking fault. You waited too long. Yep. This time I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Come on, pony butt. Boop, boop, ba -doop. Where are we going? Why well, I feel like my wife and kids gonna be dead, like gladiator style. So Brett, the great Dutch, what a role model! The man who made you who you are. Shut the so, up. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? What? Is this like an Oprah? Why are y'all interviewing me? It's a shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! Jesus. I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Wait. You're a bad guy. <laughs> we both hunkered down. I shot his damn head off. Alright, where's this guy at? I see you. Alright, I will not stop to loot bodies. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Like a lot, a lot. Alright. Shoot your fucking face. But shoot me, fucker. Stay down. Who's about to be? Let's see. Bam. Kitchen. What now? Where's Dutch Marston? He got away. Fuck if I know. Scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. I don't understand you know, why out of the ten of us, it's my sole responsibility to handle it. <sighs> like, why ain't any of y'all with your fucking nine guns? Shoot him. Why ain't y'all shoot him? You fucking shoot him. I don't give a shit. If you want it done, why did I lose honor? I don't understand. I wonder what happened to Dutch that made him off. Oh, it was. Well, I got there right on time. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? 
Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. <laughs> These problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the well problem said. Of civilizing nomads. Uh, is is me. that the problem? Are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. I really? well, yes, don't a white man, obviously, care. But, but but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility. I'm done with this. But what the f*** do you want? Hello, sir. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange right. I don't know what we're, we what we're going oh, to do. Because yeah. I cut him off. But I guess let's go do it. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on Jesus my way. Christ. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come mm. on. I see a hmm. spot where we can climb up. For real, can we talk about how much TNT there is in here? There's a lot of TNT in here. Is that foreshadowing? should go any further i'll be fine but you go ahead i don't want to slow you down you sure you're all right hmm. just need to take it slow go on i'll catch up or see you on the way down those are two wildly different outcomes sir don't worry I... about me go I... look for vanderlyn i am a little worried about him but furthermore it seems like he like he had oh i'm not supposed to go that way cool seems like he had a lot worse before and now his arm gets cut and he is feeling away about it okay that's that sounds big that sounds like a fucking bear i didn't i say bear there better not be a bear i don't want to fight a damn bear that sounds a lot like a bear though i knew it don't fuck with me bear don't start no shit and there won't be no shit. How do I get up there? God damn it, I gotta go around. I gotta go past the bear. It's gonna make me fight a bear. I don't wanna fight a bear. Please don't make me fight you, bear. I don't wanna fight you. I don't wanna fight you, bear! I don't wanna fight you! God damn it! Don't be a dick, bear! I don't wanna fight him. Shouldn't you be mostly asleep? Like, not, maybe, no. Don't look at me like that! I don't want to kill you! I don't want to hurt him. Y'all! That bear looks big mad. Can I make it to the next one? Can I make it to the next one? Run! Run, 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 run! Run! Get up! Woo! I don't want to fight the bear. Look at him. Poor bear. Bear didn't do anything. Yeah, alright. Get up, man! Shit. No! No, I couldn't get in the gun! F*** it! God! F***ing mountain lions? Always with the mountain lions! Motherfucker. Didn't kill the bear just to get jumped by a mountain lion. And I knew it! I knew I saw something out of the corner of my eye and I was all like, What's the other corner of my eye? What was that? I don't know. Oh, a little skunk. No, it's a f***ing mountain lion, because of course it is. He and the bear are just drawing straws on who gets to eat me. F*** me. Hey, buddy. You're doing great. You get him. Oh, dear. Climb up! You're doing great, buddy. Keep doing the Lord's work. It's my greed. It's my greed, skinning that goat. It's my downfall. You still over here, you big bitch? 
asshole. Is that a fucking eagle? Y'all, it's an eagle. I ain't gonna shoot it, but cool. Excuse me, eagle butt. Ka -ka! Right back at you, buddy. <laughs> Y'all, why am I stupid? I don't know. All right. Watch, Dutch is gonna blast me off the rock. And then the bear's gonna eat me. Who are you looking for? Without alerting the fort. Wait, I have something for this. It's a throwing knife. Can I, how do I duck? Oh, I guess I found what we were looking for. Oops. Smooth one, John. Smooth one. Mr. Marston. Ah, oh, not you again. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. <laughs> you banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas uh, heard <laughs> the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> At least you're honest. Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Mm, Vanderland's gang sweet. contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, Jesus. Well, sure, it hasn't been I can't easy, keep listening to this. This hurts my soul. Anyone, Why, I knew a man in here nope. Whose father I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't listen to that bullshit. This is just gonna end up being like one giant finale. I don't know why we bothered scouting that place at all. We ain't never scouted shit before that I can recall. Alright. Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast. I can't do it! Oh god! Okay. Follow me! I asked the stars to bring the horses around for us. Get quick, man! I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. <laughs> what the bear? That's a bear. They oh her. now we have no choice. I, I have a choice. He nearly got me. I ain't trying to kill that damn bear. Damn. God damn it! I didn't want to kill the bears. That makes my heart sad. Yeah. I'm Come sorry, on, bear. Come on, let's get it over with. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Point. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I have to, but, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. Truth. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn! Dutch! Professor, get down now! God. They killed the star! Damn it. Marston, you have to get us out of here! That all you Dispense got. with them. Oh, 
God damn it, Nostas. God damn it. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. I don't... Some rest, Professor. I don't think... I don't know that these tribes practice cannibalism, but... Cool. Shut, dog. what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place maybe so dutch you and, and and your friend there the professor we're gonna kill the both of you why you want to do a thing like that i don't know sport i guess well at least he's honest fair enough uh, why don't i come out there we fight let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic but out here why? so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Uh. What are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. Can't we just throw a Maltov out the window and be done with it? Yes, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. That is the opposite of shutting up. Quite the opposite, ma'am. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Help me, John! How about that? There you are. I can see you, stupid. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're... We are going across rooftops. Good thing we left the horses in the alley, huh? That's fine. This guy was on my damn nerves anyway. With all his white savior bullshit. Mm hmm. Uh, my research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> I don't care, dude. I just want to see my family. I just want to see my family. Super curious about John's family, in fact. <sighs> okay. Agent Ross, let's move this shit on down the line. That sounds like a bear! Ah, shit! Shit! Okay. Are we going after Dutch? What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you ask. That's true. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly... What the fuck? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't... <laughs> where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall in the sword tribe, will you? Oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like this. Still haven't answered my question. Yeah, I know it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. 
He's like one of those nature writers from back east. What? Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony <laughs> between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money. Still haven't answered my question. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's my family? I know. It's easy. We, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. I will Maltov your we whole office. Where is my family, dude? Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? I... Yeah. I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. Don't it's about care. one man and his gun versus another man. <sighs> sure. Civilization may be dull. But the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. That's a great speech, Boyo. This civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you yes. were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not intellect now after the debacle with the army and the bank we have to put mr banderman to rest ourselves fucking fine let's do it will you help us yes do i have any choice now that you mention it no then what was that pretty speech in aid of i don't rightly know but it sure felt good saying it what? <laughs> shall we mr marston Let's go. Let's get it done. Quit talking about flowers and shit. Let's go. Roll out. What the f Gatlin. Yes. Oh. They didn't kill my family or some shit. That's what's happening. Oh, they're throwing shit. Cease fire and mount up. We're going after them. Gun them down. Keep it steady. Fifth, seventh, and God. Oh, those are all guys. Can't shoot them. Holy shit. There's more. I'm not sure they. He took your bait, gentlemen. I am not sure. I don't feel like you baited them into a situation where we have the upper hand. I'm just going to call it. Oh, uh, what the fuck happened? I don't know. Man, fucked up songs pop into my head at weird times. Did we die? Are we dead? Is this supposed to happen? Yes. You sure baited him, you stupid. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor Dutch no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. What? That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, mm. he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> God damn it, John. Come on, just get it over before with. Before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the odds. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> I hope you're ready to finish this mess. Anything to get you sons of bitches off my back. No, it's Dutch. But he's the last one of your merry band, is he not? Then you can go back to your farm or what's left of it. What does that mean? You can always send your wife back out to work. 
I hear she works hard. Go to hell. Jesus Christ. She did more for the people with the money we took than the damn government ever did. Good God! This flawed philosophy yours again. If you wish to argue the finer points of ethics, I suggest you learn to read first. And I suggest you learn how to shoot people in the front, not the back. <laughs> so you're the one who's gonna kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. I don't even think he's there. It's too easy. You get your ass back up here. Ooh, there's a Gatlin. Ow. All right. You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Do I? Why do I have a rifle back on? I don't understand. He really go, Gatlin? It's me and you, John. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. You're just too blind to see. They got my family. Your family? Abigail was in the Son of a bitch! God damn it! I ain't leaving here without you! I got to get back to my family, Dutch! Man. Nothing's more intense than climbing ladders in a cutscene. Or a chase scene. You can't erase the past, John! You're killing me! It won't make it go away! That's where you're Why does he wrong? sound like he's about to cry? Man, is Dutch all tore up about this? Drop kick. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We Is he about to throw himself? Nothing. My whole life. All I ever did was fight. Feel that. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. He's not wrong. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Literal and figurative business. Our time has passed. Yeah. He did. Oh, God. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot. What the fuck? The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Is he gonna try and shoot me? Or is he gonna make it look like he shot the guy? That. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Yes. Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So, I'm only joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. Wait! They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston. For everything. I know this wasn't easy for you. Beecher's Hope, where I know you was? Where he was like, this is beautiful, and blah blah blah, and John didn't say shit about it being his own farm? Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. That's the fucking truth. 
Okay. I hope his family really is there. Be f***ed up to cue this song and stuff and then have him actually be dead. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I got chills. Okay. Okay. Abigail! Jack! Jack. Anyone here? What a nice solid name. Don't you do this, rock star. Don't you fucking do it. Anyone home? You better not have crucified my family. Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day. Again. Is she mad? She looks you mad. No good hill Billy piece of shit. I thought you was dead. I thought you was dead, John, huh? Should've where written you a been? letter, John. Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. You know. You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him. I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but <laughs> I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Or no one else. That was the boy. Get it, girl. Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Fair. Well, uh. some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change. I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Is it? I hope so. Hope for John's sake. God bless, he's been through enough. All of them have. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. Oh, man, he is a big un. Coyotes ate all the chickens and <laughs> poachers took the cattle. I That's tried, right. father. I tried. It's all right. That's shit, we can buy back. I've been looting a lot of corpses. Blaming me, boy. Who Don't the fuck you are you? I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? Who the hell? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. I thought you was dead. Hmm. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one. <laughs> yeah. Well said. Go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. We gonna go get cattle from Bonnie? Yes, we gonna drive cattle? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we gotta go get ourselves some more. Yes. We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. Yes. Over in Hennigan Stead, who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you learn to cook. <laughs> Did not say. Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Hmm. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Looking all types of serious, John. Sleepy bear. Well, this music is so fucked up. It makes me feel like my kid's gonna die. Or something crazy. Yeah. Just as like a... Seems like the sort of thing Rockstar would do, right? Like, fuck you, life is hard, the end. You can do all that and still end up with everything going wrong. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some <laughs> kind of important government business. That's about right. The people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Oh, that's a nice cover up. Aren't you? I oh, know, they're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. No. Or, or a politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Well, like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. 
made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. What's gonna go wrong? The music's too messed up. John Marston! There's a face I thought I'd never see again. One of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not. Stop sir. blowing my cover, sir. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. Will she? <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Guess we out. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarlane. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. This is cute. I'm glad they're doing this. Hope oh, nobody dies. Including the cows. Oh, we just all gonna herd cattle together? If that ain't the cutest. Get your ass on. I forgot how to say yeehaw. No. No, you don't, you fat old heifer. Get your heifer ass back over there. I'm trying to lose cows on the last mission. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Whoa there. I'll deal with this. Stay with the Motherfucker. My kid's gonna die. My kid's gonna oh, die. Let's go. You all right? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. Them on my cows wandering around? Scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. <sighs> Hold my breath, cranking my neck at weird angles. Get your dumb asses over there. Get. No. No. You bitch. Move your shit! That's a fine herd we got ourselves. So we're ranchers now? Did a good job, son. Nice shoot. Thanks, Pa. Make a rancher of you yet. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. <laughs> Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though. Tastes bad enough to kill a man. <laughs> I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. We no hope. Over. Railroads, government, motor cars, and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphan working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry. Oh, look at you. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. God damn, crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. <laughs> of course, my angel. Wait, get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Johnny had a good meal in a hot minute, ma'am. Did I save any? Well, I didn't fail it, so there's that. John. We got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something. Oh! Like, something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarland. She's a friend. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. Oh, we really just gonna live the country life for a hot minute. John, okay. Wait! She can't stand can't it. She got, I'm she got to know. She got to know. She got to see the competition. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite a gentleman all of a sudden. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable ghost manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarland. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent 
first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews <laughs> kept me pushing forward. Well, about as amusing as a weakened saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farland? You're gonna start yammering about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Ooh, girl. Did Man. you burn the harvest? Knew it! Knew it! I just keep waiting for something bad to happen, y'all. We did good today, John. There's a lot of cleanup here in this last little bit. Cool, let's talk to Jack. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage Redskins, yeah. and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. Glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure, how'd you like to learn to track out? Really big ones in the valley this time of year. Use the meat. What? Well, I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So, let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. <laughs> then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny it was. Grab your things. Okay interesting to see him do something besides murder people are you sure you're all right i mean i know all that business must have been hard on you. it wasn't nothing i'm not a kid anymore well it won't happen again so until the next time you mean there won't be a next time don't make no more promises paul i've heard them all before oh oh shit my shit there we go Look at him shape. Poor thing. I'm trying to lure me into a sense of security. Okay. I don't believe you, Rockstar. I'm still waiting on the other shoe to drop. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Like they're doing all this stuff to like get you even more attached to his family and like put a face to it and whatever and then they're just gonna rip it out from under you. <laughs> 